Well, I messed this door up, and actually that's why I stopped working on this thing, fixing it rust. Just went on the bottom of the car, get inside the frame. You know, it's all coated with enamel, inside and out now. I figured to get back to this stupid door. And what I did was, I was out here in the middle of the night one time. I says, let me just hurry up and get it done. I put this piece of metal on here. It was the right length to get down to the seam. And it was just sticking out the right amount. So, I push up the metal. And I weld it in here. I'm just hurrying up. and It's real dark. And it pulled this whole shit in. I was like, you dumb fuck. You idiot. <laughs> I was like, why did I do that? I got more brains than that. So... I just did something stupid. So for the rest of it, um, good thing I got this body hammer, man. I just hit right in here, put this metal, you can see, up against there. So now I'll weld that, and that's a little straighter. So what I'll do with this is I'll put another piece over, another piece of metal over it, and uh, I'll get that straight up there in the beginning, correct. But uh, before... Before I start welding, I'll use hit it with this, clean it up really good. And of course, I put that, I put the cup on there with the channel iron so it stays on there nice and solid. And uh, put this bitch on. So anyway, uh, you know I could do this shit good, except when I'm in a rush, I fuck up. That's always the problem. Hurry up, hurry up. I try to, yeah, I get out of here like 30 minutes at a time. That's what I do. So. Well, I'll get that nice and clean for the weld. And uh, I got the other piece in the back there. I'll cut that out. I got the other piece in the back right over here I'm going to use the 18 gauge versus the 16 gauge a little easier to work with strong enough anyway and uh, you know the rest will be uh, after I put the other piece of metal on the rest will be down the glass and uh, <laughs> might be under good might be under kind of thick but it'll be all right it'll hold up screw it well I'm gonna roll up some more of this and actually some of that's gonna be a lot might be straight <laughs> might have to only do the last third of the door put some extra metal in there but I've got that extra heavy duty clamp on there but you can see the wire in the clamp is like wow hopefully it'll weld a lot nicer too because I don't know how to weld but I clean that up and uh, what I do is I like using I like using this spotlight because I can't see the freaking weld that good I put it on there like that while I'm welding and I'm not gonna be using the camera so uh, at the same time, but uh, I found out this stupid spotlight helps me out because I, I could see it. I could see what the hell's going on better. You know, I'm a real amateur, so anything that helps me, like a ground clamp and a spotlight, what the hell, right? Well, I'll tell you what, this ground clamp, I, I don't know how to weld, right? That welded a lot cleaner than this shit over here. See that crap? That's because of this big ground clamp. That damn thing works. That that doesn't even look like, you know, it doesn't even look like flux. I mean, I don't know, it's a lot better. A lot better than I did before. Just and without even trying hard. I mean you just boop, boop, boop. That's worth getting. That is definitely worth getting. That's like uh, way overrated for this welder. It's like a 500 amp clamp or some shit like that. Um, Tweeco, whatever the hell that is, worth it. That's going to make the rest of this thing a lot easier to do. That is well worth it. Holy shit. Boy, that just changed that well. I, I didn't think it would make that much difference because it had, it had a new clamp on it, but it, apparently it does make a huge difference. Okay, it's a 300 amp clamp, but those are 500, whatever the hell it was. Well, Pure copper or 98% copper Tweco, you know, good brand. This is 125. So, shit, man, that fucking makes it like, like a whole nother welder. And for the guy, to, you know, if you're an amateur, you want to get that. That's worth it. <laughs> Holy shit, big difference, big difference. 
So, you know, I was going along doing a lot of stuff in the back here, like uh, down in the frame. It's all coated on the inside with two kinds of primer, the rust converting primer, then the zinc oxide primer. You can see that shit right there. And it's got a coat of like uh, Rust-Oleum, uh, it's called professional enamel, but you know, all on the inside of the frame. So it should be, uh, should be pretty good. And I did the whole bottom, so anyway. Next, 